This is Day One at Convention TV at NAM. I'm Jill Nicolini. Welcome to 2017. I think we can all agree that last year had a lot of ups and some downs. The stock market and the economy strengthened, but the world also lost some cherished figures, including legends in the music industry. And oh yeah, don't forget, we had a little presidential election. So there have been lots of changes for everyone, but one thing I know hasn't changed, and that's Convention TV at NAMM. It's still here to bring you all the exciting news and the product introductions at the NAMM show. Now, throughout the show, you'll see me on the flat screens at the convention center, in thousands of hotel rooms, and of course, on your smartphones and tablets 24 hours a day. By the time NAMM is over, actually, you may just be very sick and tired of me. That's okay. In the meantime, though, we're going to do our utmost to make this your best, most successful NAMM show ever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. As you know, we deliver a new production every day and our reporters are swarming the floor of the convention center. Once again, we're thrilled to welcome our favorite field correspondent and a true NAM show veteran, Melora Donahue. How are you? Hello, Jill. Here we are again. It's another year and another NAM show. I am super excited to be here. And like you said, I'm going to have tons of news from the show floor as the product launches are coming in fast and furious already. But before I hit that floor, Jill, I do want to tell you that I love what you've been doing with the Retailers V newsletter over these past few months because it's super cool to be able to see your face each and every week. Thanks so much, Melora. It's a ton of fun for me to stay plugged into the MI market throughout the year by hosting V Newsletter. Great to have you all watching. So what's the biggest news story or new product you've come across so far, Melora? Jill, what I can tell you is that whenever I'm looking for a big story, I know I can count on Mark Terry, who is CEO of Jam US Music Group. Mark, obviously we don't have enough time to cover everything going on in your world, but what can you highlight for our NAM viewers that's happening this year? Well, you're right. We do have so much going on. Between the Marshall Group, Davit and Hanser, KMC and US Music, our group's very active and having a lot of fun. We're launching a big initiative at KMC with their new Pro Audio division, focusing on this important market segment. We're also launching three new guitar lines, Supro guitars, Hamer guitars, and Daisy Rock guitars, plus a host of other products. So stop by our booth and see what we got. We're having a blast. Celeste John has announced the FTX series of common magnet motor coaxial loudspeakers. The family includes 12-inch, 8-inch, and 6.5-inch diameter models. FTX offers a full-range frequency response in a single self-contained driver by concentrically aligning low and high-frequency drivers. This provides improvements in signal alignment and off-axis response when compared to a traditional two-way system. So we've extended our FTX range of coaxial drivers by adding a 10-inch version and a 15-inch version for 2017. A coaxial driver um, brings together the high frequency and the low frequency unit of a, of a pro audio system and puts it in the same package. This is the high frequency unit, the compression driver. And these are both powered by the same magnet assembly here. Uh, and this is why we call it a common motor. It's the same magnet that powers both high and low frequencies. And this does a cool thing. It brings the, uh, what we call the acoustic centers of, of the driver closer together. So the HF and the LF are beaming through along the same axis that brings the, uh, the center of the drivers closer together and makes the sound a little bit clearer and a little bit lower in distortion. There's no need to wail. Electroharmonix has got you covered with the Wailer Wah. The Wailer Wah is our new Wah, which uh, takes the circuit from our award-winning crying tone pedal and puts it into a traditional rack and pinion uh, style chassis, which is made of a lightweight but very, very durable polymer that can really withstand the rigors of the road, is only a pound and a half, and it's also very, very affordable. For musicians and bands wanting to make the jump to all digital wireless microphones, Vocro Pro has announced its Digital One system. It's an entirely digital wireless microphone system that uses mic-on-chip technology to package the audio for transmission. Chris, we're over here at Vocro Pro, obviously. Can you tell our viewers what they need to know about the Digital One system? Yeah, they are using our new mic-on-chip technology, which condenses hundreds of analog components, which would clean, result in a much cleaner audio signal. So you don't have that normal hiss and static in the background, which also 
increases your battery life because you don't have to run through all those inefficient components. And then another b great benefit is it operates in the 900 megahertz band, which in the coming features would be much better for in terms of signal interference. So you have much cleaner signal for much longer. So on this digital one, we have our full color display, which will have all of our important info like frequency, uh, or operational frequency. We have our AF and RF signals, as well as a frequency changer. So you can operate the system in an RF heavy area without having to worry about dropouts or cutouts due to local interference. On the microphone itself, it has a display having all the pertinent info like frequency, uh, operational frequency, battery indicator, and high and low power output. So if you're in a local environment, you can have the low output and still get all the necessary audio output but still conserve on battery life. We've only scratched the surface of everything that's happening here in Anaheim at the NAM show, so please stay with us for a whole lot more news. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Galaxy Audio celebrates 40 years as the personal monitor experts. We will continue to offer innovation and performance to the pro audio industry. Please stop by booth 6200 and check out our new product offerings for 2017. Visit Tascam in Hall A, booth 6600, to hear about our latest products and programs. Tascam, capturing your art since 1973. I'm crazy about these DR strings. There's so many reasons that, that these strings are, are my favorite. DR strings are the ones I'm using, and they're my favorite. Veritas, innovation at play. Before we go back to the studio, I want to share with you some big news up here at the PV booth. So I tracked down Cortland Gray. Cortland, what do we need to know about PV 2017? Well, we have some great things in store for us in 2017. Um, we're relaunching the Trace Elliott line, several new products there. We have uh, Elf, which is a uh, small amp that's 200 watts, literally fits in your back pocket. Uh, very portable, great for a gigging guy. Same with the Transit A and the Transit B, which are uh, preamps for acoustic and bass models, loaded with features, professional sound quality. When you run the Transit A through some product like our, our RBN speakers, which have a ribbon tweeter in them, the sound quality is really fa spectacular, fantastic. Uh, also, we have a new uh, signature guitar amp with Misha Mansour, a product called the Invective. It's a 120 watt uh, guitar head and loaded with some fantastic features. Uh, Misha's a fantastic guitar player, uh, one of the top guys on YouTube, and uh, we're really thrilled to, to have him in there as well with us as, as a PV artist. Now, it wouldn't be the NAMM show without great music, right? Well, this year, the NAMM Nissan Grand Plaza stage will be rocking, and tonight, make sure you check out rock duo RSO, that's Richie Sambora and Orianti. Now, tomorrow night, former Yankee center fielder, music education advocate, and jazz musician, Bernie Williams and his all-star band will be taking the stage. On Saturday, the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus celebrates its 20th anniversary with the John Lennon Imagine Party, featuring rock and roll Hall of Fame inductees Ronnie Spector and the Ronettes. American Professional, an American-made series of electric guitars and basses, is the very latest from Fender. The series boasts new pickups, neck profiles, and colors, and it offers two new models. After about 30 years uh, of making the American Standard Series, we've transitioned it into the American Professional Series, and it's kind of like uh, the contemporary versions of all our classic models like Stratocaster, Telecaster, P-Bass, Jazz Bass. Um, they look like classic Fenders, but they have a lot of under-the-hood improvements that make them just wonderful sounding and playing instruments. A thicker C-shape, we're calling it a, D, uh, a deep C neck. It tapers from a thinner pro profile to a thicker profile as you go up the board. Uh, Jazzmaster and Jaguar both feature larger or taller frets uh, for easier bending. New V-Mod pickups that uh, provide beautiful tone from clean to dirty. Um, we have a brand new bridge here with Mustang saddles and some special four-way switching here that gives you parallel series options. All the American Professional Series guitars feature treble bleed mods and bone nuts. Uh, so this is kind of like just every little tweak that you would want in a Jaguar or Jazzmaster model. V may be for Vendetta, but it's also for Vanguard Audio Labs. They released their V34C Lolly multi-pattern removable large diaphragm capsule assembly. It features a custom-voiced, hand-tuned, 
34 millimeter capsule with twin gold sputtered Myler diaphragms suspended in a shock absorbing saddle. It uh, comes in a kit and on its own and it'll fit on multiple brands of microphones, Peluso, Telefunken, MXL and our own brand Vanguard Audio Labs. It comes with our V1 condenser and the V34C lolly head. The lolly head is multiple patterns. It's cardioid, wide cardioid and omni and it also comes with three small 22 millimeter capsules that are cardioid, hypercardioid, and omnidirectional, and our VSSM die-cast shock mount. Take a glimpse into the wide blue yonder with Earthquaker Devices Space Spiral Modulated Delay Device. It's an analog voice digital delay with 30 milliseconds to 600 milliseconds of delay time. So the Space Spiral is um, a modulated delay device, but what I think makes it really unique is that the LFO section that modulates the delay line has a variable wave shape. So that means you can get some natural sounding uh, triangle wave repeats or crank it um, to the right and you'll get a square wave which is much more choppy and staccato. So with the depth and the rate knobs, you get really unique polyrhythmic like pitch shifting echoes and very cool ambient guitar textures. Right back with exclusive comments from NAMM's president and CEO, Joe Lamond, plus a whole lot more. Please stay with us. How sweet the sound of amazing grace. How sweet the Washburn, an American original since 1883, is introducing six new upmarket solid top and solid body guitars to its heritage, woodline, and revival series. All set new standards for design, cosmetics, and playability. Be an original, play an original, play Washburn. Welcome back to Convention TV at NAMM. This program is independently produced by Testa Communications. Testa is, of course, the publisher of the music and sound retailer DJ Times, Club World, and Sound and Communications. Convention TV at NAMM is transmitted to all the official convention hotel rooms and throughout the show floor. We bring you a fresh broadcast each day of the show. I'm told that this year in particular, there are just a ton of product launches from the innovative folks at the MI industry. We're going to keep you informed about all of them, so don't miss a minute. And what about the guys and gals who couldn't break away from their store to come join us in SoCal? Well, Convention TV at NAM streams to mobile devices every day. That means that even if you're not here in the convention center, you can still keep up with all the news that's breaking. Pretty cool, right? All of us might be running ourselves ragged here at the NAMM show, but nobody's busier than Joe Lamond, the president and CEO of the National Association of Music Merchants, better known, of course, as NAMM. I mean, come on, just imagine trying to organize all of this, right? I give him a lot of credit. Nevertheless, Convention TV at NAMM managed to catch up with Joe so that he could share his thoughts on the 2017 show. Let's hear what he has to say. Jill, that is right. This is a very busy man indeed, so we are going to get right to the point. Joe, all of us want to know what your thoughts are on 2017's show. Well, I think 2017 in general is going to be a year of real change. I don't think anyone doubts that, and I think we're going to see that here at the show too. Uh, the amazing products that these companies have brought to market and the buyers that are going to bring it back to their communities, just amazing. Um, but in some ways, what hasn't changed or won't change in 2017 is our vision for this show, which is to provide a reliable, predictable, stable, and maybe trusted platform for all these companies to bring all these ideas to where they can just be sprung out into the world, kind of like a sorting hat in the marketplace, right? I mean, or a shark tank, but instead of having five sharks trying to bid on something, we have you know $10 billion of purchasing power walking these aisles. So I think it gives all the exhibitors a chance, it gives all the buyers a chance, and in, you know, in some ways really sets 2017 off on the, on the best foot we could possibly start out on. Now be sure to set aside two hours in your schedule tomorrow to participate in the NAM Young Professionals Annual Event. Scheduled for 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the NAM Member Center, the Young Professionals will welcome Bob Taylor, founder of Taylor Guitars, 
In addition to an engaging discussion with Taylor, there'll also be a closing reception for networking, of course. The NAM Young Professionals is composed of retailers, manufacturers, distributors, and others under the age of 40. The event, however, is open to all NAM members. As part of the all-new premiere series, D'Angelico Guitars is offering their semi-hollow, double-cutaway DC model. It's a true semi-hollow with a full center block, and it's available in three options, with trapeze-style tailpiece, stock tailpiece, or with no F-holes. has a rosewood fingerboard, 24 inches and three-quarter scale length. It's powered by two D'Angelico humbuckers, and it's just like a, a powerhouse of a, of a rock uh, double-cutaway semi-hollow. Providing crisp, clear, well-balanced response, even in very high SPL applications, the ATM350A Cardioid Condenser Instrument Mic is Audio Technica's latest. It comes in six systems that provide discrete mounting solutions for numerous instruments. We took our ATM350, which is a really popular instrument microphone, and we redesigned the entire mounting system. So now we've got a Velcro mount for violin, and we've got a Velcro mount for woodwind instruments that attaches to the bell of the horn. We also did a magnetic mount for piano and other metal surfaces, so it attaches right to the frame. We did an improved drum mount. This actually mounts over a lug, and it allows you to still tune the drum with the lug. And last but not least, we completely revised our horn mounting system, making it a locking mount so it'll attach to a bell of a trumpet or attach to the bell of a saxophone. So it's a completely redesigned, heavy-duty mounts. Keep that microphone in place no matter what you play and how you move. Now, before we go to break, I just want to thank each and every one of you for checking out the newsletter every week. We've got over 10,000 viewers at this point, and the videos, of course, as you know, YouTube, they're everywhere, Facebook and other social media channels. So each show's just five minutes, but they're always packed with the news you can use and the news you need. So if you haven't been watching, please give the newsletter a look. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. We'll be right back. We have this crazy thing going on today. I was just walking by and all these DJs and producers are set up all around the city. I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? They told me they were making music. It's the way you walk. It's the way you talk. There were a lot of people that claimed they had no musical talent and then sat down and kind of made some really nice sounds. So we do it. Welcome back to Convention TV at NAM. I've been honored to be part of the NAM show for a whole lot of years now, and I've got to say, nothing's become a bigger, more eagerly anticipated sensation more quickly than the She Rocks Awards. It's scheduled for 7 to 9 p.m. tomorrow at the Hilton Anaheim, and I can't wait to take my seat. Among this year's honorees will be A-listers Shirley Manson, Esperanza Spaulding, and Lita Ford. Widely respected MI figures who will be honored include PRS's Beth Fowler and Roland's Rebecca Eady. Ah, to be a kid again, nothing's going to bring you back to childhood like Alfred's easy best loved children's songs. It's a real beautiful keepsake collection of over 100 classic nursery rhymes, playground songs, activity tunes, and memory rhymes. What's great about this book is it's not just for the musician, it's for parents, it's for the kids to enjoy. Uh, it has the lyrics, it has the melodies, so even if you don't know how to play an instrument, you can still find a lot of value in this and have a lot of quality family time. Uh, I know being the father of a five-year-old daughter, my wife and I are constantly singing to her and we're like, what's that lyric and how does that go? This has all those songs that we all grew up with, that we all know. It's piano edition but what's great about it is we have chords for ukulele and guitar so if you're not a piano player but a guitar player it has the guitar chords on here or if you're an ukulele player it also has the ukulele chords in here too um, so this song London Bridge is falling down uh, it has the melody it has the lyrics it has ukulele chords guitar chords so everybody can join in on the fun now, what would the NAMM show be without the Music and Sound Awards? Well, 2017 is our 31st year handing out the coveted awards. Can you believe that? 
Thanks to everyone who voted and helped to pick this year's winning dealers, manufacturers, products, reps, and industry executives. The music and sound retailer's editor, Dan Farisi, is personally handing out the awards right here on the show floor. Our cameras will capture as many of the recipients as we can so that you can catch their acceptance speeches. And we'll be back in just a minute. Please stay tuned. Introducing KMC Pro Audio, the new one-stop shop for all your pro audio needs. A complete selection of products from the industry's best brands, generous inventory financing, a highly experienced staff, online ordering and account management, fast and reliable delivery. Put KMC Pro Audio to work for you. Learn more in Hall B at booth 5740. Locked up, I'm held so tight. This place is dark and dirty. I've been here too many times. My private purgatory. Cry out, but no one answers. Silence consumes my mind. Another morning after. Truth I can't deny. Now we're almost ready to wrap up today's show, so I guess now's a good time as any to check in with Melora. Hey Mel, have you tracked down anything that's particularly noteworthy? As a matter of fact, I have Jill. Now once you reach 100 years old, it's pretty safe to say that every additional year after that is you know, pretty noteworthy. And here at the show, Washburn Guitars is celebrating 134 years in the global MI industry. Now I have Jonathan with me. Jonathan, I'm fascinated by the history of Washburn as well as, you know, what product, new product launches you guys have for this Vern store for us this year. Yeah, thank you. So Washburn got its start in 1883 uh, by George Washington Lyon. And by the turn of the century, it was building 100,000 instruments a year, uh, larger than all of the other competitors combined at that time. Uh, Washburn built the first dreadnought-sized instrument that became the inspiration for others in the industry, as well as our Solo Deluxe, which is an auditorium-shaped instrument. Uh, we stopped production uh, near World War II and began again in the 70s, where we picked up with, uh, again, making acoustic guitars, uh, electric guitars, banjos, mandolins, all the Americana instruments that ended up being played by some of the, some of the uh, list of greats, uh, be it Nuno Betancourt or, or Bob Dylan, Jerry Garcia, etc., etc. And we get to today where we continue to build people's instruments, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, banjos, mandolins, resonators. It's really one of the great authentic American original stories in acoustic and electric guitar making. Oh, it's beautiful. So tell me a little bit of how you're going to carry on this legacy with the new products this year. Yeah, so we're really focusing on our flagship offerings, all solid wood instruments. We have a reissue of a 1939 Solo Deluxe Grand Auditorium. Uh, we're also extending a few models into our heritage uh, dreadnoughts and grand auditoriums, as well as our more finger-style related woodline guitars. Thanks so much, Mel. Now, you've been watching Convention TV at NAM, brought to you throughout the 2017 NAM show with a brand new broadcast each and every day. We present the latest news in the best way possible. Yeah, it's on TV. I mean, look, it's working, right? You're watching it. I'm Jill Nicolini, and on behalf of everyone here at Testa Communications, have a great show. Really do appreciate your viewership. Thank you. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.